the director um, has the uh, initial idea. Um, they look like the, the creative juice of the film. Um, uh, the main creative juice. If we again talk about obdocs, observational docs, you know, the director has to have a, a, that relationship with, with the main character. If the relationship is not a good one, then <laughs> you know this, this this could impact on on uh, on the film actually even being made. Yeah. And if it's a film that's going to follow this person for a while, I mean, with the diplomat, for instance, when I was following Ramos Horta, our relationship at the beginning wasn't fantastic. I didn't know him. He didn't know me. But, our, but he knew um, the associate producer of the film who essentially um, brought the film to me. Um, and he was a journalist, knew, um, knew uh, Horta extremely well. And he went uh, with me along on the shoot, several shoots actually, to the point where I could, could begin to have a relationship outside. Um, oh, you yeah, know, just a one-to-one. -one. Um, and I was able to then use that to keep going by myself. So there's lots of things you can do. You, know, you don't have to know a person intimately to start with, but hopefully you'll get to know that person and, um, <laughs> to the point where you know, they, you, they can swear at you and you can swear at them and um, you know, it can be all, all open. Um, well, that has its <laughs> risks, of course, you know, because you don't want to necessarily put everything into a finished film. So, so you, it's up to you to show the person the, the film close to completion. Um, so there are certain responsibilities the director has towards the subject that do involve that, you know, um, the kind of, if you like, the, 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 the truth and accuracy criteria have, have to be fulfilled. Um, but um, that's okay, as, as long as um, you, know, you don't re misrepresent something. You can still put your own spin on, on a person's life. Um, but it's a question of uh, you know, exaggerating something beyond the, the, you know, beyond a certain comfort zone, if you like. Anyway, the, so the director has to work with the character, has to work obviously with the producer, uh, has to be aware of the budget. Um, it's, it, it's, it's a very much a collaborative thing, you know, all the way through, um, with, if, if particularly if there's a producer involved, and there's certain limitations that are set by the budget, obviously. Um, but a director can go for long periods of time without even um, having anything to do with the producer either, or, or not necessarily do they have to. I think in a documentary, the producer really comes into their own um, when the film is coming to a, a point of being finished and completed on the editing table. Um, it's important to then open the film up to um, input from uh, particularly other filmmakers uh, to make sure the director <laughs> and the editor, who's obviously built up a very good relationship, open themselves up to other ideas and, and, and other opinions. Um, uh, because if, if that doesn't happen, it, 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 I think it could certainly um, work to the detriment of the film. After all, there will be an audience for the film when it's finished, so there's not, why, why not have a small audience at, at the point where it's about to be finished? I feel like just a test audience, and that's so important. The director doesn't necessarily remain involved, not remain involved after a film is finished. Um, um, most directors want um, to really be involved in, in the film's distribution. Um, many want to um, sell the film from their uh, websites. Uh, and I think that's good because then you've got a one-to-one -one relationship with somebody who's coming to, to you wanting to, to buy the film. Fantastic. Um, and of course, if there are festivals, the director is the one who you know, talks to the film and presents the film at, at festivals. Um, but probably a director would get less involved in the actual marketing of the film and, and the distribution of the film, um, which is more the producer's role. The director-editor relationship is crucial on a documentary. Uh, 
Sometimes the director gets involved earlier than at the finishing point. Um, the films I've made, a director, I get my director in on things quite early in the piece, um, get his feedback, what does he think of the character, particularly if it's a question of me having to choose between characters. Um, and also just to get a second opinion, is a character working, are they bringing something to, um, to the screen really, just, just by their, their actual presence, you know? are, are they good articulators? Uh, you know, will they sustain? Will their story sustain 90 minutes? All, all these questions uh, are things that the director's asking themselves and often an editor's there to kind of give, give you feedback, particularly an editor that you're comfortable with, that you've worked with before, and I've worked with my editor for the last 20 years and we've made a lot of films together. Um, but some directors want the editors to come in only when the filming is finished, or almost finished. And uh, many directors make an assembly for the editor, so the editor doesn't actually see all all the cut, all all the rushes. Often there could be two hundred hours, but they see uh, an edited, roughly edited assembly, uh, and that's that's the way that most directors these days, making these observational docs, prefer to work. Obviously, docs that tend to be interview driven are much more structured, and editors rely on um, transcripts. Uh, of the, all the interviews uh, and a paper edit from the director. So the director still has work to do in terms of the structure of the film. I mean, one of the most important things really for a director um, in either drama or, or, or narrated, sorry, narrated um, film, if it's interview driven or, or an op doc, is to get, have a sense of the overall s structure of the story, um, even before they start shooting. With an op-doc, of course, very difficult to know where your characters are going to be and what they're going to be doing in a few months' time, but at least you've got a feeling of what might happen to them. And you've probably already got a few scenes in the can, you've tried a bit with them, you know, they, they, you've, you've got a good relationship with them, they're telling you things, and you've got a sense of an ongoing story, and therefore, you know, an, an eventual structure. And there's... And when it comes to working with an editor, they want to know, you know they want to know story points. <laughs> where is this going to go? Where, what have you shot now? And where's that going to lead? Um, what, and they, they, want, they want your ideas. And if a story is completed, great. Well, then an editor needs to look at um, the rushes and the director, well, needs to inform him or her about what he, they feel are, are, are important moments. Now, if there's a disjuncture there and the editor feels, well, maybe there are other moments that the director feels are less important but quite important, then a conversation starts, and which, is, which is great. And hopefully, you know, by the end of the first week, there's some sort of consensus about you know, what shape the, the film will take. And then often the director leaves the editor alone for a few weeks and then they organise the, uh, or cut down the assembly the editor might give them, which could be six hours, six or seven hours, down to maybe something like two, two and a half. And then um, it becomes more of a sort of um, closer collaboration at that point because then, then it's a question of cutting down individual scenes. Um, and often the director works with an editor maybe in the morning um, about one particular scene, which is maybe... 12, 15 minutes long, and then the editor in the afternoon and the next day cuts that 15 minutes down to six minutes. And this could happen over a period of many weeks. Um, and eventually, after maybe 10 or 11 weeks, 12 weeks of editing, you've got a rough cut of maybe 120 minutes, 110 minutes, that you've got to cut down to 90. And that's where the you know, quite exciting work starts, because then you can, you've got scenes that can be... Um, put in different places, um, structure can be readjusted um, and then individual scenes can be trimmed down from maybe five minutes down to three or three and a half. So it's, it's, it's a fine tuning then, the fine cutting process, it's, it's really, um, that's where the film really takes shape. And this, when you're looking at an op doc, you're looking at a 16 weeks, 18 weeks cut on a, on a 90 minute film. So. Mm, it's a long time.